Well, uh, another successful uh, little test for time being. Um, I'm generating one point and then four zeros. It should be actually six zeros, but uh, based on my uh, generator over there, it should be all zeros. And at the end, it fluctuates between 39 and 41 uh, um, at the last two digits, which is unbelievable that uh, that I can actually do that. That is just unreal. Uh, for this scope not being probably uh, calibrated for a long time, that's just absolutely incredible. I'm so happy with the scope. Even more happy now than I was when I got it. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work at all, but uh, after tinkering with it, I got it to work. So, uh, of course, I have to give credit to a ton of you guys out there. Um, mainly the ones that who told me that I, I have to clean the switch in here. Um, stuck, it was not necessarily physically stuck, but it was stuck electronically, which I have mentioned in a previous video. So, uh, it is awesome. I... I am very very happy and if you guys uh, want to tell me more um, I'm here uh, listening uh, some people ask me for the serial number so there it is it's a B028683 B like Bravo I think it's a zero yes it is zero two eight six eight three I don't know what that means uh, some of you uh, guys are um, into the serial numbers and you can tell me uh, quite a bit more the next thing I need to do is find the probes. It came with nothing uh, except power cord. And so uh, I downloaded the manual, um, a couple of them, but I don't have these probes and I don't uh, uh, have uh, yet appropriate uh, um, probes for here. I only have these uh, 150s, but the scope is 300, so uh, I need to order um, 300 um, uh, probes. But, uh, I'm again open up, uh, do you guys think I should get maybe a little uh, uh, better probes, uh, you know, or is there a difference between uh, uh, expensive Tetronix ones or these Chinese ones will do, especially for me since I'm not a, um, an expert in, in, in by any means, uh, uh, again, I'm open to suggestions. And thank you guys for helping me.